everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making this beautiful Cinderella inspired tutu dress. For this dress you will need several rolls of tulle, sparkly glitter felt, a crochet top, ribbon, I actually ended up using teal ribbon, white felt, and a mannequin. You're going to start with your crochet top on your mannequin and then you're going to cut your tool and begin applying it to the crochet top. I'll leave a link below to my basic tutu tutorial and that'll show you how to apply the tool. Now we're going to take the white piece of felt and cut it down to size. We're going to use this as our base later so that we don't get glue on the mannequin and so it's not scratchy on the child. Now we're cutting the blue sparkly felt down to size. and we're going to cut one end at a point so that it has that princess cut. Now we're going to make the neckline of the dress. So we're going to tuck this white piece underneath. Like I said, this will keep it from being itchy on the child and it will also keep some of the glue off of our mannequin. So now I've taken the white tool and I'm measuring around the waistline because we're going to make that soft, fluffy white part around the dress. If you know what it's called, leave it in the uh, comments below. I don't know what it's called. So I gathered up probably about 10 pieces of tool here. and I'm going to attach it to the dress by taking some of the tool from the skirt and tying a knot around this white poof if that makes sense it's probably better for you to just watch than for me to try to explain it because I don't know how to explain this part <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just fluffing it out. It is attached to the dress, and this is what we have so far. Now we're going to use the same technique to make the poofy sleeves. So I'm taking more of that white tool, and I gathered about four pieces here, and I'm just tying a knot on one end. And on the opposite end, we're going to attach it to the dress using a needle and thread. And I chose to sew, sew right through the felt. You don't have to, but I did. So I'm just lining the straps up with the bodice so that it'll line up later. And attaching the other strap. And I'm going to sew both ends, the knotted ends, to the dress. And then we're going to cover that up in a second. Okay, so now that we have that attached, we're going to begin lacing up the back of the dress with our ribbon and this is going to hide that knot in the back. I'm lacing it up kind of like a shoelace. Super easy. And when we get to the top we're just going to make sure that we overlap the knots like this and tie a little bow. Now we're going to begin to attach our bodice using the hot glue gun, of course. We just want to make sure that the teal sparkly piece lines up with the white piece underneath. And just put just a little bit of glue on the tip just to hold it down and just a little bit of glue up top so that it could stick to the tool sleeves. Now I probably should have done this part when I cut the bodice but I forgot so that's okay. So I'm adding this ribbon now and this just makes that seam or the boning in the dress. I'm not really a seamstress so I don't know the technical terms but voila! Here we are. So this dress came out amazingly adorable. Please leave your questions in the comment section below and also let me know what you'd like to see next. I think that we have Princess Tiana coming up next, but 
Let me know what you'd like to see. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.